Hey everybody, and welcome to Prittle Monday. Let me minimize that. Prittle Monday, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What is Prittle Monday? Prittle Monday is where we work together on puzzles and riddles. We're trying to work on our lateral thinking, increase our vocabulary a little bit, and get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts, one of those things, uh, usually there's a puzzle or riddle involved that you have to figure out, and then there's a treasure, either virtual treasure where you just email a solution, or there's something you gotta go out and find. But one of the first things you have to do is to try to figure out these different puzzles and riddles. And so that's what we do today. Pooley says, every day I'm prittling. Mm -mm -mm. Evan Penn's got his cookies ready too. Thank you for thank you for being here. So Priddle Monday, every Monday we work on puzzles and riddles together. It increases our lateral thinking and our thinking outside the box. So today we've got some riddles and then later on I have some wordplay type puzzles later on afterwards, after the riddles. Uh, if you have a puzzle or riddle you want me to work on, you can email me at ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. I also have a Discord channel. That's why I got my headphones on. If you want to do it over voice, you can do it over voice. And you can work on these puzzles and riddles simultaneously as long as the same time as I'm saying them and as long as the same time as you can see them. And you can guess. Hey, Silver Fox, I'm glad you could be here. Davio, glad you could be here too. <laughs> Did you hear that music too? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm stuck with the pop music too, Huli. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think that's that's all the, the basic intro stuff. And let's get started. We have our first riddle up on the screen here. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. This is our first riddle. I'm going to minimize that. Sweetie. It's good enough. Close enough, Huli. <laughs> Sweetie. And this is our first riddle. I actually, and Sweetie got a Christmas gift this past week. She got a uh, Amazon device with Alexa. And we asked Alexa for some riddles. And this was one she provided to us. And I thought it was a pretty good riddle, so I thought I would do this one to start off my show. Hey, Silver Fox. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. This is our first riddle. And I know the answer, so I'm not going to try to guess at this. But I thought it was an interesting one. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows... Okay, I gotta start. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. It is not a mystery, Jimmy Fast. It, the bane of the poem. <laughs> no, the answer is not it. But you are thinking laterally, Huli. <laughs> secret, it is not secret. But these are good guesses. These are all good guesses. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. And welcome, Jimmy Fast. All right, I'm going to give you 30 more seconds. In case if anybody else figures out what it is. Zero, the answer is not zero. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. Hey, sweetie's in the room too. Jimmy Fast's answer. All right, you want to know the answer. The answer is a riddle. <laughs> a riddle. When one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. This is one of those cases with riddles is that you see the answer is like, well, yeah, that's obvious. And that's, to me, that's, those are some of the best riddles. Uh, it's not question. Zero, zero, beat me. It's not zero. The answer was riddle. <laughs> Riddle me that, says Huli. <laughs> Jimmy Fast goes, boo. 
Oh, come on. That's not bad. We, when Alexa does the riddles, she has, like, riddles of the day. She gives the question and then gives the, the answer right away. I didn't realize it was so quick. But when the, when she said it, it's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> so when one, do, when one does not know what it is, then it is something. But when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. You like secret better, says Peace Seeker. Welcome, Peace Seeker. Let me see secret. When one does not know what it is... Then it is something, but when one knows what it is, then it is nothing. I see where you're going. The cookie is half baked, says Evelyn. <laughs> Welcome, Evelyn Curry. Uh, I can see where you're going, Peace Seeker, and whoever answered Secret, Evan Penn. I, yeah, I can see Secret, but the answer is Riddle. All right. So we're going to go into some other riddles. And let me make sure you guys can see this. Yes. What word starts with an E, ends with an E, but only has one letter in it? What word starts with an E and ends with an E, but only has one letter in it? If Alexa gets a cookie, that's sad. <laughs> uh, what word starts with e ends with e but only has one letter in it i i okay it's you're on you know you're not quite in the right track but i like your thinking huli half-baked cookies can be good to make you sick that's true evan penn what word starts with an e ends with an e but only has one letter in it evelyn's got it envelope we've had it before i thought we had it before cookie for Evelyn Curry. It's a good riddle. I know we've had it before, but it's a case with a with me doing so many riddles that we're going to see some of the same ones. Answer is an envelope. Don't hate it when the answer seems obvious, but only after you've read it. The key to answering this one is interpreting the one letter portion. So we get a little sort of opinion piece at the at the end of each riddle here. All right, next one. Whoops. It's shorter than the rest, but when you're happy, you raise it up like it's the best. What is it? I accidentally showed the answer there. <laughs> it's shorter than the rest, but when you're happy, you raise it up like it's the best. You got your cookie before you said it? Okay, it's just a little bit of a delay. Green chicken curry, says Jimmy Fast. Oh, I hope it's a pronounced curry, not... Curie, Evelyn Curie, smile, it is not smile. Evan Penn got it, thumb, and only because I accidentally saw it myself. Answer is thumb, it's shorter than the rest, but when you're happy, you raise it up like it's the best. Hey, K-Pro's here. Cookie for Evan Penn. Pinky, <laughs> Pinky. It's shorter than the rest, but when you're happy, you raise it up like it's the best. K-Pro says she needs a cookie. Uh-oh. Many tricky riddles answers can be found in common items that you use every day, like the short digit to hand your thumb. Okay. Oh, dang it. I showed this one. <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom in even more. You can carry it everywhere you go, and it does not get heavy. What is it? Okay, pro is too loud. <laughs> Cookie debauchery. <laughs> you can carry it everywhere you go, and it does not get heavy. What is it? <clears throat> you can carry it everywhere you go, and it does not get heavy. What is it? Yeah, you saw the answer to Evan Penn. That's okay. I'll take if you can. You can give me the answer, Evan Penn, it's, or let someone else, I guess, get it. You saw the answer. Okay, heart, love. Nope. I'm only I'm only saying no because I accidentally saw the answer myself. Answer is, is as deep pro is clothes. You can carry it everywhere you go, and it does not get heavy. What is it? Nope, not clothes, not baby. <laughs> She puts no jokes after it. And then Huli says baby after it. 
You can carry it everywhere you go and it does not get heavy. What is it? All right, I'll give you 30 more seconds or so. Evan Penn keeps quiet. All right, good, Evan Penn. You can carry it everywhere you go and it does not get heavy. What is it? Wallet, grudge, purse. You gotta have to think meta more metaphorical, let's say. Or not an object. Yeah, Jimmy Fast got it. Or he saw it. Answer is your name. You can carry it everywhere you go and it does not get heavy. What is it? Answer is your name. Yep. Cookie for Jimmy Fast. Coin. Nope. Sorry, D Pro. It is your name. And I'm going to be a little more careful. I'm going to zoom in even more. So I can prevent myself from accidentally showing it. There are certain difficult riddles that make use of some words. Some of these words include your name, your shadow, candle, mirror, wind. All right. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Grudge is better. You carry it everywhere you go and it does not get heavy. Grudge. Yeah, I can see that. I like grudge. Oh, a grudge weighs you down? Okay, okay. The more you take, the more you leave behind. All right, you know what? I'm just going to move it over here. Let me make sure there's more. Okay, and then it says, what am I? The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? <laughs> Cookies. Measurement steps. The more steps. I like steps. The more you take, the more you leave behind. I kind of like steps. Measurement. The more measurements you take, the more you leave behind. I see where you're going, Davio. All right, everybody thinks Jimmy Fat or multiple people. It's fingerprints. Oh. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Fingerprints. The more fingerprints... All right, you know what? Jimmy Fast gets a cookie for having a better answer than what the riddle has. Is a cookie for Jimmy Fast. Sassy says distance. The more distance you take, the more you leave behind. I can kind of see distance, Sassy. And welcome, Sassy. Pictures was your next. Yep. Jimmy Fast got a, got a cookie for having a better answer, which is steps. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Fingerprints. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and hide so that I don't accidentally. This is a real tough one. I'd hesitate I'd hesitate to guess over 99% of folks don't answer this correctly unless they've heard it before. All right. All right, I'm going to have to partially hide this one. Yep, Sassy likes steps better too. All right, the more there is, the less you see, what am I? The more there is, the less you see, what am I? And I can't make it any higher without accidentally showing the thing. Age. It's not age, because I accidentally saw the answer. Balloon from Deep Row. The more there is, the less you see. I can see that. That's good. Lateral thinking, but it is not the answer. Height, heat. Oh man, K Pro is going for <laughs> K Pro is going for the shotgun approach. Stars. It is not stars. It is not age. It's not smoke. It's not moon. It's not smoke. Whew. Lots of guesses. The more there is, the less you see. What am I? Sassy got it. It's darkness. The answer is darkness. The more there is, the less you see. What am I? And the answer is darkness. Headlights, fog, fog. You're on the right track. 
Cookie for Sassy. Love. The more there is, the less you see. Love. Interesting, Davio. The more there is, the less you see. Shadow. Yep. The answer was darkness. Okay, I'm going to have to hide this. I'm going to bring this over here. Let's see what the commentary... If he stayed patient with us, it's very answerable. The contradictory setup of this hard riddle is very common. Okay. All right, here we go. Put it there. What is full of holes but still holds a lot of water? We've had this one before. Fog is a good answer as well, says Sweetie. Concepts. <laughs> uh huh. Jimmy Fass is black and white cookies. <laughs> What's full of holes but still holds a lot of water? I, I haven't seen the answer, but I think I know the answer one. I think it's sponge, right? What's full of holes but still holds a lot of water? I think it's sponge, too. There we go. Hooli got that one. We might have had that one before, too. Cookie for Hooli. Oh, K Pro, you're just too slow. Comes faster. <laughs> All right, we're going to go in and hide. Nope. One kind of nouns. One kind of noun seemed to be a favorite. Seems to be a favorite for riddle questioners. No other easily identified object quite has the properties of a sponge, so it's a good riddle. Okie dokie. Cookies was for the last riddle. What's full of holes but still holds a lot of water? Or the more there is, the less you see black and white cookies. <laughs> uh, Huli stole a cookie from a 10-year-old. <laughs> Trying to make her feel guilty. <laughs> uh, the more you see... Okay, we got that one. I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally show... I'd also like to not see it myself. Okay. Oh, dang it. <sighs> A word I know, six letters it contains. Remove one letter and 12 remains. What am I? A word I know, six letters it contains. Remove one letter and 12 remains. Uh-oh, Sweetie says D-Pro deserves a cookie, too. All right. Sweetie has great authority in here, so she says D-Pro gets a cookie. D-Pro gets a cookie. <laughs> All right, a word I know, six letters it contains. Remove one letter and 12 remains. Peace Seeker's got it. It's a dozen. And I know that because I accidentally saw the answer myself. Answer is a dozen. Dozen. Or dozens is the, the dozens where the letters are moved. Cookie for peace seeker. Dozens. Or dozens. Close enough. A word I know, six letters it contains. Remove one letter and 12 remains. What am I? Answer is dozens. You take the one letter, you take away the S, and you got a dozen. Twelve remains. <laughs> he can't come see. He says, I'm doing homework. All right. Do your homework, D-Pro. All right. Let me see if I can do this without making a mistake again. Riddles that feature letters are also a favorite. They can be very tricky. The key to answering this one is the focus on the number 12. All right. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Without looking at the answer. All right, success. You see a boat filled with people. You look again, but this time you don't see. Oh, we've had this one before. You see a boat filled with people. You look again, but this time you don't see a single person on the boat. Why? Why? We've had this one before. I'll get my cookie ready in the chat. You see a boat filled with people. You look again, but this time you don't see a single person on the boat, and the question is why. Huh? 
They are all together, Huli. They didn't jump out. This is where you got to put your lateral thinking hat. Lori James got it. They all married. They all got married. So the the thing that the key word here, key word is single. You don't see a single person on the boat. Single person cuz they're all now married. Married. Good job, Lori James. Mary James. No, no, there's still more than one. It's just they were single, but then they all got married, and so now you don't see a single person on the boat anymore. Yep. All the people got married. All right. Sassy remembers it now. Okay, I think I got this without looking at the answer. A barrel of water weighs 60 pounds. What must you put in it for it to weigh 40 pounds? All right, I don't, I didn't see the answer, but I think I have a guess for this one. Marry the poem, says Huli. <laughs> what about the preacher? Oh. That's true, Evan Penn. Yeah, yeah. I see where you're coming from, Evan Penn. I can't, I can't argue with the logic. A 20-pound rock, says Huli. No, 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 no. Peace Seeker's got it. You put a hole into it. That's how you put a... Make a barrel of water from 60 pounds to 40 pounds. You put a hole in it. Yeah. Cookie for Peace Seeker. <laughs> yeah, I know. We can't have logic in, in uh, riddles here. 20 pounds of bricks, says Laurie. Nope. Barrel water contains 60 pounds. What must you put into it for it to weigh 40 pounds? And the answer is a hole. That's what you must put into the barrel of water. You must put a hole into the barrel of water. Okay, here we go. What word? Emptying a bathtub. <laughs> that's all right Huli. there are the ones that make me feel dumb too what word of five letters has only one left when two letters are removed what word of five letters has only one left when two letters are removed A balloon to displace water. Okay, I can see where you're going. I see where you're going, leading to peace seeker. But it's uh, it's a riddle. Instead of a, if it was a science experiment, I, I would agree to that. Oh, Calazars is here. Oh my goodness, he's home from work early. <laughs> Honey, phone, drone, cones. What word of five letters? has only one left when two letters are... Oh, I see. Has one left. So you think it's literally the word one and then there are two letters on either side when two letters are removed. Ah, okay. Let's see what the answer is. I, I didn't see that. Stone. What word of five letters has only one left when two letters are removed? Stone. Okay. I think everybody who's okay, who was first? K Pro gets a cookie. And Cal Lazars is here to witness this witness this. Cookie for K Pro for the first one who came up with it. Who else had some good cookie for Sassy who has cones? C O N E S. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to go ahead and again hide this so I don't accidentally show the answer. All right. This looks like it's titled this Words for Kids. What has golden hair and stands in the corner? Half that cookie is yours, 
Not yet. There's no ring on that finger yet, Calvazars. <laughs> uh, what has golden hair and stands in the corner? And I can't guess because I saw the answer accidentally. That's why I did it off to the side. <laughs> What has golden hair and stands in the corner? <clears throat> what has golden hair and stands in the corner? I will wait patiently because I saw the answer. Sassy's got it. Broom. Oh, just beat Sweetie. Sweetie, you, you just missed it. <laughs> the answer is a broom. Sassy gets the cookie. Bad girl. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> what has golden hair stands in a corner? Answer is a broom. Answer is a broom. All right. If you have it and you show it to other people, I'm gone. What am I? We've had this one before, and I think we've had someone answer to a different riddle today with this one before. I haven't seen the answer, but I think I know what it is. If you have it and you show it to other people, I'm gone. What am I? Oh, no. We got strict cookie rules here, K-Pro. <laughs> Sassy says Sweetie can have the cookie. <laughs> it's like you're not even here. No, you're here. You're here, Evelyn. You got Brum. You were beaten out by Sassy and Sweetie. You were third, though. Secret, 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 secret. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Answer is a secret. If you have it and you show it to other people, I'm gone. What am I? Answer is a sec is secret. First one we got is Huli. And we've had that one before. I'm sure. All right. We've had this one before, too. A bus driver goes the wrong way on a one-way street. He passes the cops, but they won't. But they don't stop him. Why? Treasure chest. Ooh, interesting. If you have it and you show it to other people, I'm gone. What am I? Treasure chest. <laughs> a bus driver goes the wrong way on a one-way street. He passes the cops, but they don't stop him. Why? Yeah, Hooli's got it. They, the bus driver was walking. Bus driver was walking. A bus driver goes the wrong way on a one-way street. He passes the cops, but they don't stop him. Why? It's because the bus driver was walking. Cookie for Hooli. Another one that we've had. He ran the cops over. Answered the question before you saw the question. Uh, answered it before you saw the question. Oh, man, Gabe, bro. All right, you might have to refresh the stream then. We're going to go ahead and hide this. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody but come alive with the wind. What am I? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody but come alive with the wind. What am I? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody but come alive with the wind. What am I? Speaks without a mouth, hears without ears. Wind chimes. Wind chimes, cloud, fire, windmill. Come alive with the wind. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I, I would like wind chimes, but I don't quite get the speaking without a mouth and hearing without ears. I mean, wind chimes, yes, they make a noise based on the wind, but I'm hoping for something better. 
Rumor, says Huli, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody but come alive with the wind. Echo, says Sassy. Okay, a Echo is sort of a better question. Sassy says K-Pro should get this. Uh-oh. Why is that? Cloud, windmill, dreamcatcher. No echoes. Uh-oh. All right. I'm, I don't know what the answer is. I, this one I didn't see. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody but come alive with the wind. What am I? All right. If it's echo, give the cookie to the queen of echo. Okay. Oh, the echo. <laughs> the answer is an echo. Cookie for K-Pro because Sassy says K-Pro should get the cookie as the queen of the Echo. <laughs> uh, oh, poor K-Pro. You'll, you'll, they'll figure out that, uh, that live stream device eventually. They want to take phone calls and so K-Pro is going to Echo for as long as they're going to take phone calls and until they can figure out what the problem is. Haha, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so not funny, she says Kate Pearl. All right. All right, next riddle. All right, what word looks the same upside down and backwards? What word looks the same upside down and backwards? Wind? No, the answer was echo, Lori James. Echo. How does it come alive with the wind? Yeah, it's a good question, Peace Seeker. I'll, I'll admit that's not a great, a great worded riddle. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody but come alive with the wind. I, I can see, yeah, Peace Seeker. It's not. I understand. But we're going to move on. Oh, who? Okay, wow, wow. Lori James says, C's. K Pro says, Mom, race car. <laughs> Palindrome. D Pro says, No. Jimmy Fast says, Dad, A from D Pro. What word looks the same upside down and backwards? What word looks the same upside down and backwards? Yeah, I'm hoping it's, it's not a... Well, it's kind of a palindrome. What word looks the same upside down and backwards? C, C's. Except Lori James has C's first. But I see, wow, mom, race car. D Pro says, no, dad, A. I'll give it to 10 more seconds. What word looks the same upside down and backwards evelyn curry also guesses wow yeah we got huli and k-pro have guessed wow k-pro says i from d pro okay and let's see what the answer is what word looks the same upside down and backwards swims oh both upside down and backwards it looks the same swims Hmm. Swims. I is also good. I'm just going to play around with swims. been a while is this rotate nope copy paste layout design all right well answer is swims uh oh sassy got it sassy got swims got it at the last second all right you got it sassy swims man that's a tough one what word looks the same upside down and backwards? Hmm. Tip, if you have some free time, 
Put your noggin to good use by trying a few of these hard riddles. Oh, is this the end? They'll keep your mind sharp. Hard riddles, all right. We've got more hard riddles. Let me make sure I don't accidentally show any. How do football players stay cool during a game? All right, K-Pro, I'll see you in uh, half an hour. <laughs> K-Pro's echoing. <laughs> How do football players stay cool during a game? How do football players stay cool during a game? Stay on the bench. How do football players stay cool during the game? Later, later, later. Cigarettes? <laughs> How do football players stay cool during a game? Gatorade, says Lori James. Windy. Oh, you're thinking it's windy. They're using some type of... I'll admit this is this is closer to a joke than a riddle, but we'll we'll give him a because I saw the answer to this one. All right, how do football players stay cool during a game? The answer is they stand next to the fans. Oh, Eric Sassy got it. They go into the stands with the fans. All right, Sassy, Sassy got it right at the last second or fifteen seconds by the time I saw it. <laughs> they stand next to the fans. Hopefully, these are not all. Puns. All right, what type of dress can never be worn? Okay, this sounds like another go to hockey game, says Evan. <laughs> hey, there are hockey games in Florida. What type of dress can never be worn? And I think we might have actually seen this one before. I haven't seen the answer, but I, I have a guess. It's another sort of bad pun. Ahuli has a dress. I was thinking dresser. What type of dress can never be worn? <laughs> Evelyn Curry also guesses a dress, a dress. What type of dress can never be worn? Oh, hey, Tony Ricci. I'm glad you could come. All right, let's see what the answer is. The answer is a dress. Cookie for Ahuli. I was thinking dresser. Oops, too many letters. There we go. Monica's blue dress. Okay, okay, okay. All right. My rings are not of gold, but I get more as I get old. What am I? Oh, okay. I think I got this one. Give the cookie to William. Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> What type of dress can never be worn? Oh my goodness. <laughs> William, never change, William, never change, please. <laughs> the Gaga meat dress. Tub, I like tub. But Evan Penn is the one I was thinking, it was a tree. My rings are not of gold, but I get more as I get old. <laughs> the answer's a tree, yep. You know, but I like your, you know what, Peace Seeker? I like tub. You are getting a cookie also. Because I like the tub rings. And a cookie for Evan Penn, who's the first one. A lot of people got tree. But a cookie for Evan Penn, who's the first one who got tree. Saturn. My rings are not of gold, but I get more as I get old. I can see where you're coming with that. All right, next riddle. We're just going to keep going with these. Uh, what is at the end of a rainbow? What is at the end of a rainbow? And we ha I don't think we've had this one before, but I think I have the answer. What is at the end of a rainbow? What is at the end of a rainbow? <laughs> Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. You do get more rings in the tub as it gets old. <laughs> Evan Penn, I think, has it. W. What is at the end of a rainbow? The letter W is my guess. 
Yep, yep, yep. W, w. All right. We got all a bunch of lateral thinkers in here. Evan Penn is the first one who got W, though. And Violet and Red. Oh, Huli knows her rainbow. Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That is correct. Fenn's chest is at the end of a rainbow, says Jimmy Fast. <laughs> <clears throat> What has 10 letters and starts with gas? What has 10 letters and starts with gas? Hmm. What has 10 letters and starts with gas? I didn't see the answer to this one. Pot of gold, says Tony Rusi. What has 10 letters and starts with gas? I'm guessing it's something that's not actually starts with the word le gas, but is actually a gas-powered something. What has 10 letters and starts with gas? A-O-T-O-M-O-B-I-L-E, automobile. Oh, Willem's got it. Gas station for, from Peace Seeker, automobile. I think that's, is that whatever? An automobile. Cookie for William, who's got it first. Lawnmower. Cookie for William. All right, next riddle. No sooner spoken than broken. What is it? Gastropens. Gastronomy. Interesting. Motorcycle, helicopter. Okay, okay. No sooner spoken than broken. What is it? No sooner spoken than broken. What is it? Mm. Secret, silence, promise. Oh, secret again. Is that what we think? Silence. No sooner spoken than broken. Silence, secret, promise. Okay. I bet it's one of those. Answer is silence. Who had silence first? Tony Rusi. Cookie for Tony Rusi. Nice. But I like secret and promise. I like those also. Trust. No sooner spoken than broken. Trust. Yep. I like that one too. Next riddle. Let me pull this down. How many bricks, how, stop it, easy. How many bricks does it take to complete a building maids, maids of bricks? <laughs> how many bricks does it take to complete a building maids of bricks? Okay, I'm hoping that's a typo, but with riddles you never quite, can be quite sure. How many bricks does it take to complete a building made of bricks? Oh, one, 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 one. The last one, uno. How many bricks does it take to complete? Oh, to complete a building made of bricks. So it's just one or the last one. Ah. One brick completes a building. Nice. Evan Penn is the first one who got that. Peace Seeker says all of them. All right, the first, lots of right answers, though. The first one was Evan Penn. Yep, you only need the last one to, to complete it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put that away. We're going to do something a little different. Brain teaser. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Uh, if I make it bigger, you can't see all the words. That's the problem. All right, in this puzzle, each letter represents a different number. Can you work out what number each letter stands for? The leftmost number cannot be zero. All right, it's like a math thing. We're not doing math. All right, Adrian, we're going to skip that one. Smarty pants. 
We're going to skip that one. Adrian is an accountant. Arthur is a lawyer. Darren is a carpenter. Who is an engineer? George or Daniel and why? These are brain teasers. Adrian is an accountant. Arthur is a lawyer. Darren is a carpenter. Who is an engineer? George or Daniel and why? We're working on a brain teaser type puzzle. No math. I agree, Sassy. We're not doing that one. Don't look at that one. But I can't pull it up because there's more There's more uh, puzzle, brain teasers further down. I agree, Sassy. No math. Don't look at that one. Adrian is accountant. Arthur is a lawyer. Darren is a carpenter. Who is an engineer? George or Daniel and why? Christian Turner says George. Sassy says Daniel because his name starts with a D. A, A, D, D. That's what you're thinking. Daniel because of A, A and now D, D. Okay. Uh, solutions. All right. If you're all in, so inclined to in knowing how what the answer is to the other one, there's the answer to the first one. A, two, four, six, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The last letter of each man's name is the sixth letter of his occupation. So George is a carpenter. The last letter of each man's name is the sixth letter of his occupation. So George is a carpenter. So it's George. Sixth letter. Adrian is an accountant. Arthur is a lawyer. Darren is a CRP carpenter. And who is an engineer with the two, three, four, five, six, E, the last letter of George. Okay, the last letter of George is E, so he's an engineer. Wow. Man, I thought you guys had it. A, A, D, D, C, C, E, E. Wow. So the, the last letter of the name is the sixth letter of the job. Arthur, sixth letter, lawyer. Darren, carpenter. And so for engineer, you need one that has N's and an E. And of the two, the only one that ends in E is George. Wow. Too much work. Oh, come on, sassy. <laughs> That wasn't that bad. I didn't see it, but I I thought you guys' answers of the A A D D was uh was a good thing. Yeah, no numbers, Huli. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, let's see what the next one is. Oops, I don't think you're able to see that one. Put it right there. All right. All right, absorb, divide, glitch, margin, recess. Which one of the following words belongs in the list? Oh, let me go ahead and give Christian Turner a cookie. You had George, you didn't have the answer, the reason, but that's okay. Cookie for Christian Turner. Required hacking, no riddle finesse. <laughs> Six letter is random? Oh, I understand, Sassy, but... It's a it's a decent brain teaser. You're look you know you're looking for patterns, and I know you're great at looking for patterns, sassy. So we've got absorb, divide, glitch, margin, and recess. Which one of the following words belongs on the list above, and why? We've got quiver, shaken, shiver, tingle, and tremor. Okay, they're all six letter words, both the top and the last. Which one belongs on the list above, and why? Absorb, divide, glitch, margin, recess. So we're looking for patterns. And the words that we have available to us are quiver, shaken, shiver, tingle, and tremor. Okay, we've got tingle, we've got tremor. We gotta, you have to give me a why, though. I'll, I'll give you credit for being the first one to take the guess, but you have to give me a why you made that guess. So you got to give me an answer and give me why you chose that word. So you've got a list of words here. Absorb, divide, 
glitch, margin, and recess, which one of the following words belongs in the list above and why? And our choices are quiver, shaken, shiver, tingle, and tremor. Peep Seeker says quiver QR because of QR A B D O oh, A B D E G H M N R S. I see what you're doing. Q R. First letter and last letter. Nice. Uh okay, so sassy and quiver. Verb noun, verb noun, verb noun. Oh, no, no. I think I think Peace Seeker has it. Absorb goes A to B, divide D to E, glitch G to H, M to N for margin, recess R to S. All these other ones don't follow except for quiver. First letter and last letter. Tremor because it's not part of the senses. Okay, well. I think Peace Seeker not only has the guess, but has the answer. Let me go to the solutions. All right, solutions. The first and last letter of each of the first set of words are consecutive, so quiver. Cookie for Peace Seeker. Peace Seeker. But I understand, yeah, Sassy, you're using a similar, you're looking for patterns, because this is one of the things that we look for, are these patterns. All right. We'll do, this will be our last one for the day. Philip is 12 years old. Norman is 13. Harold is 15. And then who is 16 years old? Ralph or Barry and why? Ralph? Or Barry and why? So Philip is 12 years old. Norman is 13. Harold is 15. All right, my first thought is alphabet. What is the 12th letter? The 12th letter of the alphabet is L. Norman is 13. L, M. Harold is 15, M, and O. Oh, okay, here we go. So who is 16? O, P, the fourth letter, Ralph. Oh, okay. Sorry, I figured it out. <laughs> uh, who is 16, Ralph or Barry? Ralph, all right. So it, it was a similar, like the one we just, we just did, Ralph, yeah. So guess what? I'm going to give a cookie to myself. And P. Seeger. Oh, P. Seeger also guessed Ralph. So did you see what I did? So I saw 12 years old. I saw 13 years old. And because of that last one, where we're dealing with letters in the words, the 12th letter of the alphabet is L. And I saw there are two L's in here. So the next letter of the alphabet, the 13th, is M. So that is 13th. The 15th letter is O. So who is the 16th? The 16th letter of the alphabet is P. So the fourth letter is P. Okay. Ralph, because of the P. So I'm going to give a cookie to myself. <laughs> because why not? But who else got it? Peace Seeker got it too. Cookie for Peace Seeker. All right. It's almost time for... Cal Lazars and K Pro over on their the Hint of Riches channel. So I'm gonna end it there. You know, once you see the style of the riddles, they get yeah, they get easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should actually look at the solution. Let's go ahead and look at the solutions. The fourth letter of each name has a numerical value A to Z, one to twenty six. So Ralph is sixty. Okay. All right. So, um, hypocrite. <laughs> Calazars and Capro, they're going they asked the question to Forrest Fenn, what happens to the treasure hunt after he dies? And he gives some type of answer. It might be a Forrest Fenn answer, but it has some type of answer. 
That is the question that's going to be on the hint of riches in five minutes. So everybody, head over to the channel, the YouTube channel, the hint of riches for this. They're going to show the quote and the video of this question. And it's the question is along the lines, Forrest Fenn, what happens to the treasure hunt, the, to the treasure hunt after your death? And he gives some type of an answer. So we'll see what happens. Oh, and yes, um, I am traveling for the holidays, both this coming Monday and the Monday after. So guys, I will not see you next Monday. I will see you the first Monday in January, most likely. So Prudel Monday was going on a hi hiatus until next year. So I will see everybody next year. Everybody head over to the Hint of Riches and have some more Forest Fen fun, Forest Fen fun over there. There's a there's a little alliteration for you. Everybody, you have a good week. Monday, the best day of the week. And 2019, I will see everybody in 2020. Everybody have a good one. Cookies and riddles don't mix. <laughs>